Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Cobert, and today's episode is the top five best defensive tackles in the 2018 NFL Draft class based on analytics. And the three analytics we're going to be using today is production analytics, production specifically with solo tackle market share, sack market share, and tackle for loss market share. Now, if you've seen my videos or you've not, market share is very easy to understand as you take an individual defensive defensive statistic and you divide it by the team total uh, so if a defensive tackle had 25 solo tackles and the team had 500 solo tackles total then that defensive tackle had 5% uh, market share production uh, and then you take that number and you compare it to every single defensive tackle since as far back at least in my data set to the 1989 NFL draft class so you're able to look at what the past players performed as you know how productive they were compared to their peers and then be able to set thresholds and build off of that later on uh, and then you do this of course the same method with sack market share the same method with tackle for loss market share so on and so forth uh, the next metric we're going to be using is age uh, when it comes to age at every position you know it's basically looking for prodigies uh, most of the time players that are very productive at a younger age tend to be elite players uh, and guys that are older like if a, if a guy enters at 24 years old those guys rarely ever hit high quality outcomes you know uh, even the ones that are productive usually don't hit high quality outcomes they usually just become starters versus pro bowl or all pro players so age is very important when it comes to figuring out who is a guy who has the potential to be a very special defensive tackle versus just being a good defensive tackle and then the last metric is the speed score, uh, which is taken from NFLDraftScout.com. They usually report 40-yard dashes uh, for numerous types of defensive tackles, early preliminary numbers, by the way. So the combine may change these numbers. Uh, their heights and weights may change once the combine comes, the pro days, the uh, senior bowls, all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is I like to do a preliminary sort of look at these guys on what's been reported initially and then things will change obviously but the thing about metrics that you'll learn very quickly is it's a lot about basing your your uh, opinions on things that can change so your your opinion will change as the data changes so that's one sort of aspect of, of uh, analytics is that you know as facts change the data you know the analytics change so uh, but the bottom line is is we're going to be basing uh, the top five defensive tackles on those five metrics now let's get to the list at number five we have Christian Wilkins defensive tackle out of Clemson uh, when it comes to his uh, height and weight he's 6'3 310 pounds with a 50440 according to NFLDraftScout.com uh, based on his production, he scored 60.79 in terms of solo tackle market share, 37.09 when it comes to sack market share, and 66.21 when it comes to uh, tackle for loss market share. Uh, for the most part, he doesn't have amazing production yet. Uh, the solo tackle market share production doesn't really hit super, super high quality outcomes. The sack market share hits at least Pro Bowl outcomes, and the TFL uh, is not exactly hitting amazing either. But... This is really all about what he does this year. Uh, his speed score is 77.37 out of 100, which is very impressive for a defensive tackle. It hits at least the all-pro threshold for speed. Uh, so realistically, Wilkins is a bit of a projection, but there haven't been that many super productive players in this draft, let alone super productive players with his type of speed score. Uh, so he's on this list just because he hits a relatively decent solo tackle score a decent sack score and a decent tackle for loss score and it'll just be a matter of how well he performs this year which will determine whether or not he keeps the fifth spot or drops a little lower or even goes higher so we'll see what happens this year but he's definitely uh, one of those guys who has the general profile of a decent overall player and it's just a matter of how well he does this year and that's why he's number five on this list at number four, we have Steven Richardson, defensive tackle out of Minnesota. Uh, when it comes to height and weight, he's six foot, 300 pounds with a 5 0 40 yard dash. 
Uh, based on his production, he scored 39.32 out of 100 in terms of solo tackle market share, 85.76 when it comes to sack market share, and 70.35 when it comes to tackle for loss market share. Uh, the only mark that's not very good is the solo tackle market share score, but his sack and his tackle for loss score all hit high quality outcomes, all hit all pro outcomes. Uh, so really it's just a matter of him improving that solo tackle score to hit at least the Pro Bowl or even the All Pro level. Uh, and based on his uh, uh, speed score, he has an 86.24 overall speed score, which hits All Pro levels. And the thing about him is that there will be some questions about him being six foot, 300 pounds. I mean, that always happens with, with uh, defensive tackles that are that size. But you just can't look at that sack market share and TFL market share without going that this is a guy with the potential to be an Aaron Donald-esque penetrating force. Uh, so we'll see where he goes. He's number four on this list right now just because of that solo tackle market share production. Uh, but for the most part, great sack market share, great tackle for loss market share with an amazing speed score. And the sky's the limit for how good Steven Richardson can be. And that's why he's number four on this list. At number three, we have Harrison Phillips, defensive tackle out of Stanford. Uh, when it comes to height and weight, he's 6'3", 290 pounds with a 4'9", uh, Based on his production, he scored 68.44 in terms of solo tackle market share, 85.12 when it comes to sack market share, and 72.69 when it comes to tackle for loss market share. Uh, all those marks are amazing, especially when it comes to sack and tackle for loss market share. He needs to bump up his solo tackle market share a little bit. And I think with Solomon Thomas being gone, he'll actually that that number will bump up a bit because uh, Thomas was stealing some of those solo tackles. Uh, but the other great thing about him is his speed score is a 67.03 out of 100, so he hits at least a Pro Bowl level when it comes to his speed score. Uh, bottom line, when it comes to Harrison Phillips, he's a very impressive player on on uh, on, on paper, good overall size, good overall production, and it's just a matter of you know what else happens this year uh, so far from the film I've seen of him as well he's a pretty impressive player on film and I just think when you look at his production and you look at the other stuff on paper uh, that's why he's number three in this list is just because he has a great combination of production with decent athleticism uh, making him a, a prime candidate to become even better in 2018 at number two we have Derek uh, Nandi uh, defensive tackle out of Florida State. Probably said that name wrong. Uh, based on height and weight, he's six foot, three hundred twelve pounds, with a five one seven forty yard dash. Uh, based on his production, he scored eighty point five five in terms of solo tackle market share, fifty eight point six six when it comes to sack market share, and seventy six point seven three when it comes to tackle for loss uh, market share. Uh, all those marks are decent. The solo tackle market share doesn't exactly hit All Pro level, but at least it's at Pro Bowl level. Uh, with all pro sack and tackle for loss market share. So very, very good production profile on top of a speed score of 70.20 out of 100. And the bottom line is, is that he will get knocked a bit because of his height, you know, being six foot three, 312 pounds is not exactly uh, the ideal height or weight type of guy. But you look at that production, you look at that speed score and you go, why does the NFL not get this? You know, when it comes to defense tackles, production and athleticism, are the two things that really went out more so than just height and other sort of measurables. So uh, I think that there is a decent case for Derek uh, to become uh, one of the best defensive tackles in this draft class this year. And I'll be very excited to see how he develops. But just on paper, that production, that athleticism is amazing. And that is why he's number two on this list. And at number one, we have Trenton Thompson, defensive tackle out of Georgia. Uh, when it comes to his uh, height and weight, he's 6'3", 307 pounds with a 5.02 overall 40-yard dash. Uh, based on his production, he scored 85.33 in terms of solo tackle market share, 43.36 in terms of sack market share, and 68.97 when it comes to tackle for loss uh, market share. Uh, all those marks are good. The sack market share doesn't exactly hit all pro level yet, but he's only about 6 points away from hitting that level, but you know, about 6.5 ish, 6.6, you know, 6.6 ish. Uh, so he's almost there. And, and it's honestly easier to raise that sack market share up than it is to raise that solo tackle market share. So the fact that he already hit a very high level when it comes to solo tackle market share, and he already has a pretty decent overall, you know, TFL market share score, and, uh, and his other sort of score, and when it comes 
comes to the speed score, had a 77.43 overall speed score for his size. Um, so the bottom line is Trenton Thompson is a guy that doesn't get talked about a lot, but when you look at that profile on paper, you know, 6'3", 307, uh, on top of really good production in terms of solo tackle mark chair, attack for loss market chair, an amazing speed score, you know, for his size. You just have to go, yeah, this is a guy that should be considered one of the best defensive tackles in the 2018 class. Uh, so I'll be very excited to get into his film in the coming months. Uh, but just so he's out there right now, uh, based on the data, based on paper, he's number one on this list. This concludes the top five best defensive tackles in the 2018 NFL draft class based on analytics. Uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with uh, anybody that you know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.